So number 16, the following are geometric sequences. Fill in the two blanks after you figure out the R value. So we got to figure out the R value. So how do I do this? Well, let's think what we know. Hmm. I do not know the R value. I got two pieces of information. What's the formula? Well, the final term, okay, or whatever term you're looking for, is the first term times whatever you're going up by, which we have no clue, to n minus 1. So I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's think. A to the n. Well, what term is this guy? Well, this is the first, second, third, fourth. We have the fourth. So the fourth term is equal to the first term, which we know is what? One times the rate we don't know to the n minus one. Well, we do know n in this case is four. So this is to the four minus one, three. We also know A4's value. What is it? 125. So we have 125 is equal to 1 times r to the third. We can solve for r now and figure out the rate of what it's going up by. Well, if you divide by 1 or just get rid of it, how do I get rid of the cube there? Hmm. What do we do? We take the cubic root of both sides. Take a calculator. Cubic root of that is 5. That means the rate of change, we're going up by 5. We're multiplying by 5 each time. So if I start at 1, I multiply by 5, I get 5. Take 5, multiply by 5, you got 25. 25 times 5 gives you what? 125. Boom, we have solved the problem. I must just start with this formula. You're going to have the fourth term in this case and the first term. And you know both these numbers, so you can find what it's going up by, what it's being multiplied by every single time.